planner babes Ashley here welcome back to my channel guess what you guys we have a new puppy that's prancing around here this is mr. cash he is currently laying underneath of my desk so if you guys see the light like the whole like camera thing move it's because he's wallowing around down there um, but this is mr. cash so you guys might hear him be bopping around in the background but in this video I want to show you guys an updated planner setup I've come back to the happy planner as many of you guys know a few months ago I kind of felt like my planner system needed a change and I went on this like planner piece mission. It didn't work out as planned. Um, the planners that I ended up trying out, they just didn't work for me. I need this disc bound system. I love it so much. I love being able to add things to my planner and take things out and I love being able to have multiple areas of my life on one set of discs. So here's what I've tried. I tried the plum paper. This is a custom planner. I set it up to be for fitness. I started using it. Nothing wrong with it. Again, I just, I need the disc bound system. This is my Archer and Olive bullet journal. I was trying it. I have the Passion Planner Weekly. Genuinely was not a fan of this one. Um, I really thought I love it. I love this cover. It's so stinking pretty. I love the paper in it. I love the feel of everything. Um, I just didn't, I used it two weeks and that's it. I really didn't like it. I didn't like having to cover all of this stuff up. I didn't like having like all of this stuff already in there. For some people, that's awesome. For me, I didn't like it. I did like the hourly layout, but there was also a part of me that didn't want the hourly layout because I felt like I was planning hourly and I wasn't. Um, if that makes sense, I didn't like that the monthly pages are up here. Like here's the monthly. There's some like like pre-planning pages in here, which is awesome. I just don't like that everything was separate. So you have like your monthly up here. Once you get through your monthlies, you have your weeklies back here. I don't know, just wasn't a fan of this one. I also, whoops, sorry, have the Passion Planner Daily. No, oh, do you guys hear him? He's got his little tired yawn. Um, <laughs> this is my puppy voice. I do like the Passion Planner Daily. There's nothing wrong with this one. This one was really nice to use. I didn't dive into it a bunch. Again, I was just trying to figure out a new planning system and here I am back in my happy planner. I can't, you just can't beat the disc bound system. So this is a deluxe cover that the happy planner come out with years ago, a couple years ago. They're not available anymore. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, eyeballs crossed, everything is crossed. They hopefully come out with some new deluxe covers like this one because I love them. And I know you guys have been asking for them and um, hopefully, hopefully they deliver on that. So we open this up, maybe. I have some new fun things coming from Etsy that I ordered to go over here. For now, I just have like a little thing of sticky notes and I don't even honestly know what all's in here. Some date stickers, just some random stickers. I've got some pre-planning sheets and stuff. I've got stickers right here too as well. So here's the planner. This is my year of dreams coming true. I love this cover. It's on black metal discs. I've got a little thing of sticky notes here. I need to get some new ones. I've already used all of those ones. Up here in the front, the very first thing, I do have some daily pages. These are here if I want to use them. If I don't, I don't have to, but I did stick a few of these in here. There's not a lot of them. Just a few daily pages up front. Then we go into my fitness section. I put this first because this is my priority. This is where my focus is going to be right now. Um, I have gained a ridiculous amount of weight to the point of where I'm exhausted all the time. I have no energy. I don't feel good. Just my body is just like coming back at me with like, hey sister, it's time to get to get off your butt, move your body, eat right, drink your water, so we can start feeling better. So this is like number one priority. And I'm gonna be using the teacher layout for this. I actually just filmed a plan with me, so you guys can watch that. I put it up, well, I don't know what the plan is. It's on back in there, we'll figure that out in a second. But anyways, this is the monthly section. I didn't feel like decorating this one, because by the time I'm starting this, there's only a few weeks left. But I am um, kind of basing my workouts off of my work schedule. So I am a nurse, I work 12 hour shifts, my schedule changes weekly. I don't have a set schedule, but I know that on the days, at least right now starting out in the beginning, the days that I work, I'm not going to be working out. Believe it or not, exercise actually improves your energy, it gives you energy. So I always say like the factory doesn't have energy, it makes energy just like our body doesn't just have it. We have to produce it and exercise helps produce that. But in the beginning, exercise can wear you out that's why I'm not working out on the days that I have to go to work. I want to focus on, on being the best nurse I can be on those days and not being super exhausted. Once I'm into this routine, I will probably get up an extra half hour early and work out on the days that I have to work. So this is the teacher layout that I'm using. 
I love the teacher layout. It's super, super functional. I reset this up to where um, it works for Monday through Sunday, right? Because normally this comes to where it's Monday through Friday, but I, I kind of rework it to where it works Monday through Sunday, and then I have categories over here on the side. So that's gonna be my fitness planner. I have September and October. These little sticky notes here is my work schedule. So that way whenever I finish planning out the rest of my workouts for um, the rest of September, I still have to plan out the rest of this week. In October, I can see what my work schedule is and I can kind of plan around that. So October or September and October is inside of here. Then we flip over. This is going to be my catch-all planner. Um, this is a, a lined vertical planner. Right now, I didn't decorate September because, again, I'm just now getting into this. There's no point in decorating it for a couple of weeks. So I just have my work schedule in here on sticky notes. But I do love the lined vertical planner. This is the first week working in it. Not the first week of working, and I've done um, plenty of weeks since I have a lined vertical, but being back into this new planner, this is my first week. So here's where we're at. Very, very functional, but also really, really cute. And then this is pre-planning a little bit for next week. For this, I have September, I have October, and I went ahead and I put November inside of here for my catch-all planner. What is a catch-all planner? That literally is anything and everything, but mainly it's got my work schedule, my husband's things that he's got going on, and things that my son has going on, and then like a general to-do list or things that we need to get done that day, like priorities or appointments, and, and now stuff for our new little puppy. So that's what a catch-all planner is. So I've got till November in there. Then we go into my social media planner. You guys, I have been setting goals for social media, but I'll be honest with you, it is the first thing to come off of my list. So if I start getting overwhelmed, things start getting hectic, I don't stress about social media as much as I used to. Used to, it was like a priority of mine. I really wanted to focus on it, but right now in this current season, this area, of my life, my social media, so my Instagram here on YouTube. I'm sorry, I love you guys so, so, so much, but this is the first thing that comes off of my list when things get overwhelming. But I do have it in here, and I do have plans of being back here consistently as much as possible, given that things aren't being hectic and crazy. I've gotten used to kind of being a new baby nurse and getting my feet underneath of me and stuff, so I feel, I feel like now I can kind of start to switch my focus, if that makes sense. So I have September and October inside of here. Um, I haven't really planned in the monthly sections yet. These are just YouTube video ideas that I have up here. And then I decided to use the horizontal planner for this. And this here is the first week. So this is starting, today's Sunday, so it's starting tomorrow. I decided to go with the horizontal so I can decorate a little bit more. There's not a ton that I'm planning for. Might do like a couple of YouTube videos a week and then posting on Instagram. And that's really it. I'm not going crazy like I used to with social media. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be using the horizontal planner. And I have September and October in here. And then back here, this is just like a notes section. This is my little project list that I've started. And then I just have note paper back here, just random note paper, random notes that I've already started just back here in the back. And I just want to share with you guys, I meant to film it and I'm going to film it, I just haven't yet, but um, I have a new pen review video coming up. Um, I was supposed to already put this out like a month and a half ago, so I'm sorry. It is coming though, I promise. But I just want to share with you guys, my new favorite pen is the Pilot Juice in .38. I really do love these pens. They are awesome. I just want to share that with you guys because it might be a couple more weeks before that pen video gets out, but I will be getting that out to you guys. So that, my friends, is my new planner setup. Again, I can't get over the dismount system. I love the functionality of being able to add things, remove things, and just being able to customize my planner to where my entire life is on one set of discs. Well, not quite my entire life. I do still have my faith planner and I have memory keeping and that kind of thing, but the vast majority of it is on one set of discs. Let me know if you have any questions. I will link as much of this as I possibly can down below in the description box if you guys want to check any of it out. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.